welcome to the presentation solid state fermentation so what is solid state fermentation solid state fermentation or solid substrate fermentation is a fermentation process occurring in the absence or near absence of water solid state fermentation employs natural raw materials as carbon source such as cassava barley wheat bran rice bran etc and it also includes fruit pulps corn cobs sawdust coffee pulp tea waste etc the advantages of uh, solid state fermentation includes uh, first one is uh, the process is very simple and uh, it is cost e cost effective process uh, effluent release will be less so which obviously reduces pollution and uh, the yield the product yield will be high high title can be obtained uh, through this process aeration involved in this process is easy uh, it also resembles a natural habitat of some fungi and bacteria and uh, the other advantage of uh, solid state fermentation is the easier downstream processing so let us see what are the major factors which which play a key role in solid state fermentation uh, a few of the things i listed out here uh, the first one is the selection of microorganism so it really matters here in this case so suitable microorganism need to be selected to get uh, optimal results or optimal yield or higher yield for this process the next comes the substrate the substrate which used for the uh, for for microorganisms to grow so that also plays key role the other one is process optimization the process optimization uh, is optimization of the steps involved in the process for improving the yield or product recovery that is called process optimization and the next one is product isolation and purification this also plays key role uh, in the solid state fermentation uh, so these are the major factors which which are involved uh, in the solid state fermentation so let us look into it uh, one by one so let us see uh, the selection of microorganism a selection of microorganism as i told you before is a key factor for improved yields of a product so here microorganism used can be bacteria yeast or filamentous fungi all this can be used as a starting material or microorganism uh, for the process uh, here in this case the filamentous fungi has shown better results uh, in growing in the solid substrate so filamentous fungi uh, has a better shows better yield compared to yeast and bacteria so that is preferred for so it depends on the process so, uh, so generally filamentous fungi shows to have better result in the solid state fermentation so let us see what are the substrates and uh, how we can uh, improve using this substrate the product quality how we can improve uh, substrate also plays key important role in determining the growth of microorganism thereby increasing the product yield as you know there are more microorganism there will be more product formation so uh, providing the microorganism suitable substrate is one of the important thing one should look into when you consider a solid state fermentation the substrate is chosen such a way that it should provide physical support as well as nutrients to the uh, growing culture so the substrate is chosen in such a way it should provide physical support as well as nutrients for the growing uh, culture or fungi bacteria whatever we are using as microorganism uh, the substrate can be divided into two types one is specific substrate and the other one is producing specific product from a suitable substrate so the specific substrate which requires suitable value addition and uh, for the second one for producing specific product from a suitable substrate so the so there are basically two types of uh, it, it can be classified to uh, into two types based on the uh, processing and uh, the next come to the uh, process optimization uh, the process optimization includes the optimization of physical chemical properties and biochemical parameters so when you optimize a process these things are optimized the physical chemical properties and the biochemical parameters are optimized 
in order to have better yield or higher yield or higher product formation. The size, initial moisture, pH and free treatment of the substrate. Uh, these are the area where you need to optimize uh, uh, to get a better yield. Relative humidity, temperature of incubation, agitation and aeration, age and size of the inoculum. These are also important things uh, which we should look into. Uh, the nutrient supplementation such as nitrogen, phosphorus and other trace elements and uh, supplementation of additional carbon sources and inducers. This also enhances the product formation and uh, optimization is required in the extraction of product and purification. So to have a better yield all these parameters has to be optimized. So let us look into some of the problems which uh, generally face in the solid state fermentation. The first one is heat transfer. It is one of the main difficult uh, parameter uh, to control is the temperature during the fermentation process. So the, we don't have much control on the temperature. So when heat is generated uh, during the metabolic activity, generally it is generated during the metabolic activity of the microorganism. Since the substrate is used as a, as a low thermal conductivity, heat removal will be slow. So when you use such a substrate which has low thermal conductivity, uh, the heat release or heat removal will be slow. Thereby, there will be accumulation of heat in the process. When heat is generated and uh, it goes beyond a certain level which result in the product denaturation and will affect the growth of microbe. So as you know that uh, the bacteria or virus whichever uh, microorganism you are using in a process sh should have particular temperature range for uh, op their optimal growth. So when heat is generated, this balance cannot be maintained and it goes beyond uh, the temperature shoots up and causing uh, the denaturation of product as well as uh, other, which also hampers the growth of microorganism and ultimately ending up in reduction in yield and quality of the product. So let us look into uh, the applications of uh, solid state fermentation. So there are different uh, sectors where uh, this can be used and uh, various application along with the examples is given here. Let us see some of the examples here. I will go through the agro food industry. So the application involves traditional food fermentation, uh, the koji and uh, fermented cheese etc and um, for mushroom production and spawn production. Uh, the examples include agaricus, fluorotus, etc. and for bioconversion byproducts and for food additives. So there are the, these are various applications we can go through and uh, note down for uh, uh, use in different sectors. Uh, I'll be more interested in looking into the industrial fermentation type uh, mainly for the production of uh, enzymes. So there are certain examples which we produce uh, enzymes uh, through solid state fermentation include amylases, cellulases, proteases, uh, pectinases, cyanases, etc. And this also be used for antibiotic production like penicillin and uh, feed and other probiotics. Uh, it's also used in ethanol production, fungal metabolites, etc. So these are the references I used for making this presentation uh, general and microbiological aspects of solid state fermentation, the basics of uh, solid state fermentation and uh, you can refer these books for, to get more detail and uh, you can also visit bioresource uh, for articles and other related uh, protocols and more on uh, solid state fermentation can be found from bioresource and the URL is www technologyinscience.blogspot.com